About to go live for a little bit. You might want to join in on this one. It's a good, it's a good one, this one. Welcome, good morning everyone, or good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Uh, we are starting a new game today. I was given this game by Streamby, so thank you very much Streamby, uh, for giving me this key to review. Um, yeah, it seems like it might have been out for a while now, I'm not too sure. Let me just quick check. Um, yeah, so it actually came out in 2021. Um, 
So yeah, but they've actually given this game to kids. Yeah, it's a, it's called French Crime. It's a, it is a detective game. It's basically a full motion video game, so you get to see like the full actors. So so it's very realistic. Uh, I think there's nine investigations. Yes, yeah, so there's nine games in one. So it's actually really good value for money. This it is nineteen pounds uh, in 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 the UK. So probably around about twenty three in the in the US for twenty three dollars or like that. Um, yeah, let's let's get into this. I don't know how many of these investigations we're going to be able to do today, but I can always play this a, a another day as well. I also have been given another key to review as well, but that will be on a different day. So let's get on with it. Hope you guys like it. Uh, this is French crime. Okay, let's just make sure that I put this in the right section for you guys. One minute. Game capture. No, we haven't. Here we go, guys. Sorry about that. And here we go. And here we go. <laughs> God. Are we up? Are we up? We are up. Just gonna check the microphone. Just gonna check the microphone. Yep, that is all working great. So we are ready. So okay, so do you say budget cuts all of the French Ministry uh of the interior? The police forces are understood don't have enough manpower to solve all of their criminal investigations. There are murders at large and the crime is growing. Now is the time to restore law and order. Willing to act, the French government is entrusting citizens to investigate crimes over the internet. Welcome to French Crime. Oh, I've got a message. Okay. Uh, Guillermo Bazami. I'm going to say that. <laughs> uh, first. And last name, address, social security number, date of birth, please, so I can choose an answer. Beg your pardon? F you. No B shit. I want, want no bull crap. I want to investigate. Uh, I'm not going to be that aggressive with him straight off. Beg your pardon? Just kidding. Sorry. I couldn't help teasing our new recruits. Welcome. I'm Special Agent Pasani. Hello, Pasani. Nice to meet you. My name is Nobody. Mr. Nobody. <laughs> See, can we not change that to like Chrono or something? My name is Nobody. <laughs> I'm going to see if we can change that in a minute. Okay. Is there, is there cold meat and... Oh, okay. Can we select? We can select these. My name is Nobody. Is there cold meat and guts in the walls? Hey, man. I'm Quinton Tarantino. Hollywood's atomic bomb. I was about that. Yeah, hi, nice to meet you. Do you know uh, what you're in for with us? I want to repair my neighbour who plays Tom Jones records all night. <laughs> Documenting crimes, gathering evidence and catching criminals. It's a criminal investigation game, right? Yeah, okay. It's got some funny answers on this. So depending on kind of what person you are, you can really have a good, probably a good laugh on this. I'm like straight to it. I mean, I'm like kind of like answered them up like you kind of should be. But yeah. Uh, okay, investigation. It's a criminal investigation, right? A game? Definitely not. The French government has just made it official. They're entrusting citizens on the internet to solve criminal investigations. Cops are overworked and exhausted. They can't manage the caseload. So we're asking citizens like you to give us a hand. Oh. Do you want to become an investigator? Uh, that's always been my dream. I want to become an investigator. Will I get a gun or license to kill? I gotta say that, I'm right. 007. Why not? Oh, why all the disguise? Yeah, I'm not gonna go. Do I get a gun or license to kill? Yeah. In your dreams, we don't have guns. We got brains. You get you ready to get started? 
Sure, sure. Send me the toughest cases. I've got more informant than Musk has followers. <laughs> oh, no. I can't. No. Still, it's the greatest response to me. Can you explain how this works? Yeah, I think that'd be better, wouldn't it? <clears throat> I like how it's like an Elon Musk and all that kind of stuff. In it. Oh, well, hold on a minute. This like, like, it's been quite recent. I know it said it came out a couple of years ago, but I suppose Elon Musk was still had like millions of followers even then, I, was, I suppose. Uh, still, it's a great sponsor. Can you explain how to switch? Yeah, of course. That's kind of why I'm here. <laughs> You've got everything the police have at their disposal at your hands. Crime scene clues, autopsy reports, details, suspect files, and so on. Study all the elements and integrate the suspects to find out what happens. Once you find the culprit, send your conclusion to the judge with the evidence that, sat uh, that satisfies your choices. We've got a new case that just came in. It's for you. Uh, actually, let me just quickly let, let, let me link in uh, Stream B app if you guys want to have a look at it. Again, this game did come from Stream B. So I'll just grab that. Oh, I'm just going to pin that in the chat. There we go. So again, I was sent, sent this game by Stream B. I do get a couple of keys every now and again from them. They're actually a fantastic way if you're on like Twitch or YouTube or anything like that to like uh, kind of monitor your uh, statistics and stuff. So they're actually really, really uh, handy to have. Uh, I've used them for like uh, about three, four months now. And like, um, it really does give you a good indication of where you are. Uh, it also gives you a little handy hints and tips as well. And also a free game every now and again. So review. You, when you accept these keys, um, sometimes you are under embargo. I'm not. Uh, but sometimes you get given like certain tasks. Like for instance, this game, I only have to stream for one hour. That's, that is it. <laughs> that's it the other game that i've got i just have to stream within 25 days so you do get given like little things but they're not too taxing yet okay so once you found the culprit uh okay sorry so we've got crime scene clues autopsy reports details suspect files and so on so the other elements and then interrogate the suspects to find out what happened once you found the culprit send your conclusion to the judge with the evidence that justifies your choices we've got a new case that just came in it's for you. Okay, let's start the first investigation. Remember, guys, you can help. If you think you figured something out, put it in the chat. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Remember to watch carefully because a clue could happen at any time. So a young woman was found dead yesterday morning in the swimming pool in Paris. Please quickly close the case. Suicide. The Judicial Police Investigation Group Number Three requests a further clarification of the cause of death from the French crime agent. This is a preliminary investigation. The form of information you provide may allow the reopening of the case. So at the moment, it's down as a suicide. She basically just drowned. It's our job to see if that is correct. And if it's not, we provide evidence so they can then reopen the case. Right, okay, let's go back. So we got a couple of pictures of um, the body. Uh, I don't know what this is, symbol is. Oh, we can go big picture. That's quite handy. We've got blood on the steps. We've got footprints, some clothing. Why would it be footprints there straight away? That's uh, the thing. Okay, what's this? 
Okay, that's fine. Let me just quickly, what are all these? Are these investigations? We've got that. Is this me? This is me. Okay, my account. Uh, you can log in, by the way, on, on this uh, via like Google and um, or like uh, Facebook and stuff like that, or you can just uh, log in via email. Uh, again, I don't know why you have to log in, but you do. I think you do. I don't know, too sure. I might be wrong there. You might not have to log in. You might be able to play the game. I'm not too sure. I just logged in anyway. Uh, it takes two seconds. Okay, so we got clues. Uh, we got the large pool entrance. Yeah, as we can see. Coming from there. We got front fins looks like coming one, two, three, four, five, and then back out maybe. Got uh, a key with the locker number five. We got some like a it's like a goggles and a towel, and I'm not sure what this thing is, but yeah, enough of footprint, some more bloods. Oh, a razor blade. Hello. And then we've got a door. <coughs> Oh, they must have retrieved the body, I'm guessing, from the actual, um, from the pool. We have got a camera. Oh, we can, hold on a minute. Did you see that then? Oh, so we're down there, and we can click on watch. So let's watch the CCTV. I like how they've got this actually listed on YouTube. So, we enlarge it for you guys. Uh, why are you guys not seeing this? Um, because it's a YouTube video. Right, hold on a minute, guys. You did not see that. So let me, let me do this in a way for you guys. Let me just hold on. Let me just quickly, let me do a video. Uh, you guys did not see that. So let me. Ah, Silver Kazumi. Oh, thank you very much for the raid. Um, I'm just trying. Uh, we are playing the game, but the guy, uh, the stream could not see the CCTV because it's a YouTube thing. So I'm just um, figuring it out a minute. Uh, what, we will come back to the game, but you guys can help me. Uh, we're, we're trying to solve if this person has um, committed suicide or it's a murder. So this is um, a kind of detective game. It's like very based on real life. It's a full motion video game. Uh, you guys will like it. Let me just try and figure this out though. Is it a window capture? I think it's window capture. Uh, ah, there, it might, there we go. Display capture. Ah, there it was. Oh, I already had it on. Yeah, okay, one minute then. I'm going to do this. Do that. Okay. So we click game catcher off. Display is on. Right. Now that should come back up. There we go. Now we can, so we'll we'll go back through it because all you guys are just coming. We've only just started the game. So basically what's happened is, is that we, um, there's no police in the French in, in, in Paris at the moment. So they're basically, they're calling on us, you and me, to try and help the police figure out what's happened. So this has been reported as basically she's took her own life. She's drowned. Um, we got a few photos here. We can we can enlarge these. We've got a couple of footprints. There she is in the pool. And then these are the ones. These are the clues. So again, we got this is the evidence markers now. So we got some uh, number number five a key for the locker. We have got some goggles. 
and a towel. We've got some bloody footprints, some more blood. We've got a razor blade, as you can see there, next to some more blood. And then we've got the exit. We've got the dead body there. And we've got some CCTV. Now, let's see if this works now. Because when this didn't work, it didn't actually show it on the stream. So, hopefully, I figure this out. Yes. So, let me enlarge this. And let's see if there's any kind of CCTV footage. So, big brain there. I figured that out. <laughs> so, I can't see anything yet. It's just static. Oh, did it pause then? No, I'm just tripping. Anything at all. Anything. So this is not very good footage, is it, if it was all static? That means there's somebody to turn off the cameras. Because would that not be on? Like, this is a public place for safety and stuff like that. So, I mean, it looks like it's plugged in. Not too sure. Someone's messed with it, yeah. Potentially, yes. We don't know that for certain, though. <laughs> right, okay, so we've looked around. This is going to be dope. I'm going to get some food. <laughs> no problem, still. I've just seen that. Sorry about that. That's because I was sorting that out. Uh, I'm going to send you some more love now, no problem. You send enough love, man. Thank you very much for the raid as well. And uh, number one quack, somebody's definitely messed with it. Okay, let's go from here, guys. I'm glad you've all joined in. Um, cause it like oh, by the way, I was given this key uh from Streamby. If you've never used Streamby before, it's a very good service for analytics uh, for your Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and stuff like that. Um, I things I cooked something wrong. What? what? <laughs> One minute, guys. <laughs> One minute. But right, anyway. Uh, Okay, the blood stains. So the blood stains seem to have been made by pe people exiting the pool and people entering the pool. Well, it looks like exiting because you can see the footprints coming this way out into the door. So that's exiting, isn't it? I smell burning. Yeah. So that's people exiting. I'm gonna validate that. There we go. Well done. We got the right answer, and and that's been entered into our case book. Okay. Yeah, a message. I smell burning dots. <laughs> okay. Uh, the woman who crammed underwater. Uh, what did he say? Something that's highly suspicious. Yeah. Yes. What you what you do is um you you unroll it yeah. and then. Roll it back, but not very, very tight. So leave it loose. And then put it in for how long? For how it depends if it's there. Yeah, that's right. So I've not unrolled it. I've just put it in for that. It'd be fine enough then. Yeah, you just meant to leave. It, I don't know why. It's just like greaseproof paper. It's not going to do anything if you oh, don't okay. put it in there. No, you look like you're right. <laughs> cooking, cooking instructions with Chrono. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's highly suspicious. Yes, add the clues with the footprints uh, to your investigation notebook by clicking on the plus. Okay, same goes with anything else that you find that doesn't fit with the suicide hypothesis. Okay, so if we find anything that we think it's a clue or whatever, uh, go, that's new evidence, we click on the plus sign. Okay, that's, that's easy to remember. You can use them later as evidence when you send your report to the DA. I think there's also a locker key with the number at the crime scene. Yeah, there was. I'll let you search the corresponding locker. Okay. Right. Thank you. Right. Okay. So we have locker to number. It was five, wasn't it? So it was five. There we go. So we've got a locker. Continue. Okay. Let's view the evidence in the locker. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> Okay, so we've got. Okay, we can look at. So we've got a coat, a handbag, jeans, and shoes. So let's search them all. Okay. So click on search. Nothing to report. Okay, we've got a bra and a jacket or a towel. Okay, but there's nothing there. Okay. So 
There's no point in adding that to my thingy, is there? Search. Okay. So we got some kind of cases we need to, and some sunglasses and some deodorant and stuff like that. So let's search the cases. Oh, we got an ID card. Yeah, and we also got some tickets here as well. So whether that's gonna be important. So let's view the ID card. We're gonna enter this, add that. Okay. Uh, Republic, Francis, uh, so Clever da la Latte, la Latre. I don't know how to pronounce that, but let, let's say Clever. Uh, and she's Paris 14F. We might have to remind, remind ourselves of that. So, uh, what else was in there? Anything else? Oh, yeah, we've got a phone. Ooh, hold on a minute. Pin entry. We'll come back to that. Let's go back into that one. Search. Search. Anything else? What's well, a birthday? 1988. Uh, 20 seconds after. So, most people's passwords are usually the birthdays. Not always, but the majority. Uh, so, and if it's four digits, it could be 2208, or it could be like a combination. If it's six, it's probably got the 88 in there. is four digits oh i'm in <laughs> what a what did i say it was the birthdays do you know what i mean 2208 thank you inspector chrono <laughs> it is true it's honestly god true most people's pin numbers or anything like that are usually the birthdays. It's so bad because we because it's so easy to remember. We'll just do it. You know what I mean? That's how everyone near enough gets hacked. Because if you know their birthdays, you probably know their passwords. It's the truth, right? Uh, I mean, this is why they had to come out with password bloody lockers and stuff and encryptors and everything. Because everyone was just like, yeah, okay. Uh, right, so we've got some messages and pictures. Let's have a look at the messages first. Okay, there's no audio. I've noticed no audio or music on this. So I do apologise, guys. It was like I'll check the settings in a minute just in case I miss something. It's like there's no music or audio or anything on this. So very, like, distracting. I'm actually kind of distracted. There's nothing here. Uh, let me just... Uh, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Okay, so my operator... Saturday the 11th, 2024. Uh, was that today? When was that? It was like two days ago. Is this real time? Is this game in real time? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what? What date's it? Am I trip? Yeah, it's not. It was Saturday. What the, what the hell? <laughs> what? Wait. Hey. What? No call of ID. Called you 17 times without a message. Okay, well, evidence collect that. Oh, okay. So someone called us a lot of times. Okay. Uh, we got some cat pictures. I don't think this is any evidence, is it? Cat picture. Okay, we'll put this in evidence because we don't know who this guy is. Maybe he's, you know. Okay. We don't want any cats, though. It looks sus. It they certainly does look sus, yeah. Let me see if there's um, any settings. Let me... I, it's not... It's not even not... Okay, hold on a minute. What? It's not on mute. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> right. Um. Oh, it's clever, wasn't it? It was clever. Validate. There we go. Okay, well done. That's the right answer. Got 10 more points. Note, victim identified. Clara Dalatrine. Uh, may she rest in peace yet. Yeah. RIP. Please report. 
Uh, okay. Boom, boom, boom. May the 12th. Yesterday. <laughs> I swear this is great. Oh, I, I, this is mad. Oh, it's like kind of like real time kind of thing. That's, this game was made like two years ago. I don't... How does this even do that? It must, it must like link up to the internet or something. Like, I don't know. That's crazy. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, I don't... I'm, I'm going to add this because it's a police report. Uh, but date and time, May the 12th. Uh, Palerian swimming pool, 32, yeah, Paris. Investigations of cause of death. Resume Doslan Mayor in function of Paris Police Department. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay. So this is just like telling me, let's see. Uh, police officer in residence Paris being on duty, assisted by officers, Theo Salvens and Gwen Calvin, was notified at 7.20 a.m. by our dispatcher of the discovery of a corpse after Palerian Air Sports Centre located uh, through Edwan Palerian on the 19th in our city. Arriving at scene at 7.40, we contacted the caller, Mr. Jose Mendez, 42 years old, born at La Grande, res residing at 32, okay, whatever, so yeah, in Paris 19th. Lifeguard at, he, yo, he's a lifeguard at the Ford Mention Swimming Pool. So he's actually a lifeguard there. Hold on a minute. Does that put him as like number one suspect, doesn't it, really? He works there as well. Unless that's not the right guy. I don't know. Maybe I'm just putting two and two together straight away. The aforementioned uh, informed us that he discovered a cup. Oh, so basically, okay, so I'm, okay, let me put this in my head. He's coming 7.40 a.m. And discovered a body in the pool. He's he's then rang them up, but they were notified at 7.20 but he must have got in early. He must have got in early. He must have, he, let's say he got in at seven o'clock then. Done his like, you know, done his rounds, whatever. Gone to the swim pool. Oh my god. <laughs> Rang up the police. Oh, he could have killed her. Set it all up to look like an accident. You know, you never know. And uh, before mentioned that informed us that he discovered a corpse of a woman earlier that morning. Okay, after unlocking the main entrance and entering the swimming area. Yeah, okay. So I was right. Uh noting that Mr. Mendez will be heard in a separate police report. At our request, a municipal employee took us to the scene of the discovery, specifying that the victim's body was discovered in the main pool and was floating in the middle of the pool, legs together and arms slightly apart. At our request, the body was removed from the pool. So it was them that took it out, yeah, I thought so. Because you can't, you can't really examine it if it's in the middle of a pool. And examined by the forensic scientist, was notified as soon as we arrived. Following this examination, Dr. Bouvier uh, issued a death certificate mentioning a forensic impediment. We proceeded to make the usual observations. We left the premises with our assistance and returned to the police department. They were like very thorough, isn't it? Like it's like proper, like thorough. This. Okay, so who found the body? Uh, who was it? it? Was um was it? It was it. With Jose again, Mr. Mendez. Yeah, it was Mr. Mendez. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, Jose Mendes. Oh, it's Jose Mendes. Yeah, okay. Well done. Okay, so we got persons of interest. Was that the guy in the picture with her? He looks a bit different. I don't think that's the same guy that was in the picture. Yeah, this is definitely not the guy. But he's a witness. Well, let's search for information on him. Boom. Oh, wow. Look at this. Okay, so we can get everything here. Okay, so he's 42. He's male. He's French. He lives in Paris. He is married. He's got two children. He's a lifeguard and swimming instructor. Okay, we've got everything. Okay, information. Certified lifeguards. Loved by his clients, colleague and friends. Always helpful and smiling. Okay, so he doesn't sound like a killer then, does he? You know... Then again, it does just like green beans, so mm. <laughs> annual income uh, 22,000. Uh, uh, what's this note? Suspective of undeclared supplementary income. Oh, so he's doing like private lessons on the side. Okay, makes sense. Criminal record, we'll add this as well. 
traffic offence. Nothing really. Drunk driving. Okay. Thank you. So, he's been done for drunk driving in 2013. Okay. And they closed it. Have we, we've got his playlist. Dude, we've got his playlist. <laughs> okay. Mark on the butt. Can we, can we actually play these? I Like, I probably got done for copyright. Uh, or mute or something like that, but are these the actual songs? Like, I think they're actual songs. I, yeah, you can save them on Spotify. <laughs> no way. Yeah, yeah. That is mad. Okay, I'm not gonna even going to play them. But, yeah. So we've got a Spotify list, which is really cool. Uh, okay, we got messages. Well, I wouldn't know his pin number. It's probably this is birthday again. Who was well, his birthday? Let's have a look. Uh, does it say? It doesn't even say his birthday on this one. It just says age forty two. So that'd be a lot harder to find out. So we'll come back to that in a minute. We got pictures. Okay pictures as well so we can send this we could send this to the lab let's send it to the lab then we can try three times oh, i can try three times before sending it to the lab okay right okay well we'll we'll do that in a minute then uh right so when when did he when did he come uh 7 40. Seven forty. It did. That's what it said, didn't it? Oh, they arrived on the scene. They were notified at seven twenty, so it'd probably be seven o'clock, wouldn't it? Doesn't actually say. Guessing it's, I'm guessing it's 7.20, uh, 7. They got rang, so I'm guessing it was that one. Oh, 6.30. It was 7.20. Hold on a minute. So the minute he walked in the door, right, <laughs> he rang them up. That's a lie. Whatever. Ah, oh, this is a lot of information to go through. I right, was just gonna add all this. You never know. Detective Chrono Pixel Gaming. Okay. Uh, so she's slim build, light brown hair. Okay, smoke hair, but she's got healthy lung tissue. Uh, Total rigor mortis indicating death was more than four hours ago. I even I don't know if that ties in. I'm not too sure. External injuries, torso, head, and legs show no evidence of recent trauma. Uh, Epidectomy scar can be observed. Presence of several scars suggesting reconstructive surgery on the left hand. Uh, the subject's four arms have two sharp, deep lacerations parallel to the upper limbs made with a sharp object. These two lacerations made coincident from the elbows and wrist. Severe the wow the blastless medicus veins resulting in significant blood flow. Injection marks on the inside of the left elbow. So maybe she's like like taking insulin or drugs. So we'll soon find out. Psych canalis at the extremities of the lower and upper limbs. Absence of congestion compatible with drown incompatible with drowning. Absence of fluid in the lungs and minimum presence of liquid guessing that she didn't that then she didn't she didn't drown basically she was found in water but she didn't drown presence of food subject of subject died of a car check arrest due to whatever that is i don't even know what it is Ex can you what what the hell is that let me let me google that guys because i ain't got a clue what that is what's that definition please yes 
Okay, it's blood loss. <laughs> okay, she died of blood loss. Just tell me that. They're going to be big, massive, long ways that I can't understand. What the hell? Uh, from the four of arms, lacerations. Right, okay, so she died of blood loss. Toxicology report. A blood test, a blood test showing significant presence of... Uh, uh, let me put back on the charts a minute, sorry. Uh, Deep laceration on our each four of arms severed each blood vessels to cause significant hemorrhaging, leading to blood loss of the victim. No evidence of violence on the rest of the body. Blood, show, blood test showing significant presence of a selective factor XA inhibitor by amphetamine and anticoagulant. So I think that's a drug used to like stop blood clots or something and i'm not too sure on that yeah it is so googling it again yeah it's a blood clot and pro uh problem okay so she's probably taking like some kind of medication or something like that but again maybe she maybe she's been given it so let's go on to the let's let's go on to everything because I failed the time, didn't I? Like, I'm probably going to get a lot of this stuff wrong, to be honest with you. Right, okay. Uh, this is nothing really that we can see from there. <coughs> Obviously, they said that rigor mortis is uh, set in. There's the scar they were going on about. Needle hole. Take all this into um, evidence. Yeah, you never know. Okay. <coughs> yeah, loss of blood. There we go. Five points. Caleb uh, de Lavart received an injection of his anticoagulant. There we go. Ten points. Blood show showing a significant presence of anticoagulant. Okay. There we go. So we're doing good. We just got the time wrong because we, we thought it was the time that they came in, not the time that they reported it. I didn't read it right. Always read, always read what you, uh, these things. Okay, let's say, what, 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 what wow, the, uh, the, the, the footprints, how the cops missed this, how the suspicious. Yes, the clues were the footprints in the bit. Investigation notebook, clicking on there. Yeah, the same goes to that. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, okay, with a locker. Okay, wow, okay, May 13th, which is today. This, this is crazy. This is a preliminary investigation. That That's all we have to go on. Make sure your decision is based on the elements. We've got to send this preliminary file to DNA. Okay, okay, how do I do that? Uh, do you think we should reopen the case? There's clearly footprints and other strange elements. Fill in the preliminary file and access it via the investigation menu. Don't forget to include clues that support your conclusions such as footprints. Okay. Right, so, I, so I've added in everything that I wanted to. What, what do we do then? Add the suspicious clues. Uh, that wasn't it, was it? How do, how do I... Oh, I think, okay, I think that's what we had to do. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, so so we've got the evidence. 
So we're going to go back and question him. Do you know the victim? Have you ever seen her before? Uh, well, I'm guessing. Uh, we've not said the complaint was quick. We'll do that one in a minute. Right, we'll do that one. Okay, she was a regular and used to swim here. What's this? Due to a technical issue, the original answer of this question could not be saved or the recording was lost. But the camera operator said forgot to press the button. The camera battery was empty. At any rate, there is no recording. However, you have the transcript. Okay, that's fine. Uh, she was a regular and used to swim here quite often. I had given her private lessons, but I didn't know her personally. Okay. Yeah, tell us exactly how you discovered the body. Okay, just like I do every morning when I opened, I arrived at 6.30. I swear, did I click 6.30, guys? He arrived at 6.30, I clicked 6.30, and he was like, no. <laughs> like, it was 7.20. Like, I don't know, that question was still bugs me. Uh, the pool opens at 7 o'clock. Usually I start by running, turning off the alarm, but it's not working lately. I turned on the lights. Fill in the security sheet, then I went to the main pool to take out the pool cleaner. I still had 10 minutes before the opening. That's when I saw her. <coughs> okay. Did you touch anything? No. I didn't touch anything. I immediately called the police, who arrived 30 minutes later. Should we go back to her then? Right. Maybe we should have done this first. Maybe we've done this there, like the wrong way around. I'm not too sure. As I'm kind of like new to this game. So, okay. So this is, and we need to get his phone as well. We can get into that. Uh, <coughs> so she left her previous job to, a, to an extended sick leave, currently looking for professional retraining. Okay. She makes no criminal records. She's got a Amy Winehouse and Beatles and stuff on a playlist. Mobile phone. We do already hacked into, didn't we? Okay. And it was the pictures. Uh, oh, how many goddamn calls was it? It was 17 times, wasn't it? Yeah, 17 times. I knew it was a lot. Okay, so let's go back. So that's all we could do for that. Mobile phone. Don't know his birthday. This is the thing. Has he got general information? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to send it in. Send it into the lab. Just send it. Right. So we've got a, a three minute cool down because we, without his birthday and all that, we're just going to be guessing, to be quite honest with you. It could be like zero, 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 to be honest with you. Like, you know, to, you know, it could be something that simple, but who knows? Will it ping back if it just come back? Will it, will it stay there? Yeah, it will. All right. Let's come back to that then in a minute. Okay, I think, we're, I think we're up to date on everything, really. So the only thing we got really wrong was the date at the time, which, again, I still don't know how or why, but we did. I know I don't want to submit it yet. I want to get, I want to get the thingy, don't I? All right, is it back? Let's have a look.
two minutes. Oh my god, the weight, the weight's killing me. Right guys, while that's counting down for two minutes, let me uh, run me little promo for myself, I might as well. <clears throat> so guys, if you want a, or girls, if you want an energy drink, uh, that's uh, really uh, got a lot of benefits to it, uh, go to w.gg and use Tasty Chrono food. 10% off, they do caffeine and non-caffeinated, and they do uh, five different brands, I think. If you go to my About page, you can click on the five one, you get like a mega bundle for uh, on a big discount, and that's uh, use Tasty Chrono. Or if you want any of my merch, which I am starting to sell merch now, you can go to get yourself a Chrono Boy t-shirt, uh, £20 it is, and it's on T-Mail, so that's chronopixelgaming at tmail.com. And that's chronopixelgaming at tmail.com. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, so we're going to go back. And we've still got time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Too bad I couldn't have uh, really figured it out like the first one. There's not a lot of information to go on. Like, other than maybe his age and where he lived. It could have been 42, 32. It could have been that. Maybe. You've got your age and your street, and your street number. That could, that's a, uh, another popular one as well. So, or the opposite way around, your street number and your age. Hey! Right, okay. How's this? Valentine Bouchette, the woman who cried underwater. Hey, Wonky. Thanks for lurking. Uh, hello, Chrono Pixel Gaming. I have the pin call for Jesse's phone. It was the name of his dog. Still a classic for people to dance another one. So, Lobo. So obviously it, you do what so how that would work out is obviously each letter is a number i don't i, I wouldn't have got that like where did it say his dog's name i can't remember that i remember the cat pictures <laughs> you know you know what i mean i get i remember the cat pictures but yeah five two six three where did it say anything about yeah okay yeah there it is likes his dog lobo but, I mean, that's like, you know what I mean? His children, Marcus and Clovis. Uh, I could, yeah, how, I don't know how you would have got that. You know, unless you were like just trying everything. I think the, waiting the three minutes would have been definitely the thing to do. Um, oh, what was it? What the hell? God, I can't even remember what the password was now. What was the message? What was the message? Uh, five two, five two six two. Five six two six. Five six two six. Okay. Five six two six. There we go. Okay. So I like that we have got the function to hack it, even if it takes three minutes. It's kind of a pain in the ass to wait three minutes. But I suppose if you're in real life, three minutes is not a long time early to get like someone's details or hack the phone. That's a pretty fast. Okay, let's see what his messages are. To Matilde Mendez. Okay. Uh, is, this, is this anything to do with us? I'm not too sure. Uh, Matilde Mendez, I love you. Me too. You're picking up Nathan at 5.30 p.m. Stuck here till 7. Should have picked up some bread. Steph is asking about Saturday. Your phone's being switched back to... Hidden numbers. Things at seven. Will Luce be there? He's not sure. Okay. I'm still sticking this job. Did they piss you off again? I can't take it anymore.
or we'll talk about it tonight. Uh, I'll just put all this in just in case. So I'm guessing this is his dog Lobo. They're guessing they're his kids. And that's it. Okay, don't need to add that then, do I? Uh, so what are we sending? Do we need to send this? Okay. Submit. You must select the victim. You must provide evidence. Oh, I gotta tick it off. Oh, 14 at the most. That's probably one on that. On that. Like the victim. Oh, victim. Um. um well, we don't know if it's murder, do we? We don't actually know if it's murder. We know she's had drugs in the system. There was also that razor blade, wasn't there? Why didn't that get brought up either? Uh, it makes me wonder. There was no sign of any kind of struggle or anything like that. Too sure. Okay, so the, there was no evidence of violence to the rest of the body, but there was deep lacerations on the foot. Each farm are four arms severed. Probably what the razor blade was for. They didn't. They didn't bring up the razor blade at all, which is a bit strange. It was there because it was there. Oh, do you know what? We needed to add it. Right. I didn't add it. Right then, okay, okay, okay. Hold on a minute. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Mm. 
What do we need? Do what, what do we do? Um, so we need the autopsy report, yeah. Do we need the notes of it? I don't know if we need the notes of it, do we? I'm not too sure. Toxicology, medical, diagnosis, stomach contents. Really, I don't think we need that. I don't think we need that. So, we don't need a picture because it means nothing at the moment to us. We don't need a traffic offence because it's a traffic offence. Uh, we do need the, we do need the thing. So, let me go back to the crime scene in a minute. Let me go add that. What do you mean? It's, Do we have to delete them then? Do we have to delete them then? Delete. Delete. Oh, okay, okay, hold on a minute. Uh, oh, we don't need. Why have we got three left hands? Weird. Go back to that. Now let's add it. Add that, yeah. Add that, yeah. That as well. Okay. Now we can. Okay. Now we can go. Boom, boom. Oh, that's, uh, we want the razor blade, don't we? Want the razor blades. Still though, the cause of death, it kind of does look like suicide. Like, it looks to me like she slit her wrist and then went into the pool to die. That's what it, that's what it looks like to me. But again, you, I'm not, you don't know, there's no, there's no CCTV. I've got the drugs in the system, but they're anticoagulant ones, so they stop like blood clots. So I don't know. I think it's suicide. Like, I think she's had to kill herself. I don't think it's anything to do with the guy that we've investigated. It looks, it looks okay. Uh, open investigation. No suicide. I'm gonna go with what what they already come down with. I think it is suicide. I don't know what you guys think. Like, I think it is. Like, there's nothing absolute like, like leaping out like it's murder. The guy looks okay. He's come in. He's found the body. She's got slashes on her arms. There, there's. But again, footprints going outside. Why would it be footprints? There's bloody footprints going outside. That's the thing that's kind of throwing me. Like, did she go back outside? No, what did she, I don't know. I can't. Uh, I don't know. It's not an accident, is it? It's not an overdose because she didn't have enough in there. She is either murder or suicide. At the moment, suicide is the most thing. I'm gonna have to. I'm just gonna submit that and see what happens. So if I, if I, if, I, if, I, if I end up failing, well, I know why. Okay, so we're gonna not gonna open up the investigation. We think it is suicide. There is the call over seventeen times, but again.
just sounds like me. Hey, yeah. Basically, the police have um, they've got two. They're, they're basically, too many people are dying. They, they can't. They haven't got enough police on the street, so they're turning to people like us that can help uh, investigate through the internet. Okay, so uh, okay, dear Mister Misters, uh, I've read your conclusions following the final uh, initial findings. Thank you for your assistance. As things stand by, on the basis of re re recommendations, the case will stay closed. Okay, so we got a score off. Five thousand five fifty five six zero, which is quite low compared to the total score, but maybe we didn't do some stuff. Evidence discovered hundred percent. Answers to question seven out of seven. We did get that one wrong with the time. Preliminary file, so maybe there was more questions to be answered. Cause of death. We got the cause of death right. I think they wanted us to open the investigation. Why? If the cause of death was right. <coughs> I can't. I don't understand that one. When you just close it because it was it was counted as suicide anyway. Okay. So we got that right. We got this right. We got that right. That right. That right. There's a facial bonus. Bonus for se sending a second invest investigation file. Perfect bonus. <coughs> right. Oh, so this is like you can compete against other people as well. I don't, I don't want to resume. What do I have to do? I have to get. I don't. I don't understand this now. What did it? Um. How how do I not resume it? <laughs> how do I not resume it? <laughs> do we go home? They're saying it's under investigation, so I'm guessing I have to keep doing it until I'm, it's happy or something. Got the toxicology. We might need to add that. And that as well, probably to say that and, and that. And that maybe as well. Okay. Right, anything else? Anything else that we can? I don't think there was anything else that we could have done from here.
I don't. Maybe it was meant to press yes. I'm not too sure. Okay, I've, I've took out a few things, added a few things. We did it just got an achievement you didn't see that but yeah first blood complete your first right okay so what we did we added in a few little things i.e about like the knife and the footprints we also we didn't close the case we left it i think open right so i've read your conclusions following the initial findings findings caught my full attention in order to clarify the circumstances of the victim's death Decided to open an investigation to determine the cause of death. In, or, in audience with Article 74 of the Code of Criminal Proceedings. Right, so, the heart score's a little bit better now. Right, so, yeah. So we got a tick on the clave, uh, cause of death, open investigation. Right, there we go, we've included razor blades now, which we did forget. Uh, exhibit, there was a caller as well, so we called like 17 times. Uh, blah 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 okay per okay we got the preservation we didn't get the perfect bonus but i'm not going to bother with that because like we'd have to do like all the questions exactly right and everything like that i'm not really bothered but okay for the first like like trial like i got a few little questions wrong and come so that's good that you can go back in and and add like stuff back into it it doesn't just like fail you straight away because we got it, we just we basically got it right anyway. We hypothesized that it was basically um, super science, but we're not too sure again. Uh, the police originally closed the case, but Detective Colonel Pixel provided enough evidence to convince the uh, deputy the district attorney to reopen the investigation. The case is now being handled over to the homicide team. Uh, yeah, but we don't see this is the thing we don't know, but it was enough evidence. To suggest that there was somebody else there, but we don't like we don't know that for certain. But there was enough evidence. And the result of the resounding success, the French crime program will now enter phase two. Detectives will now uh, be assigned to solve criminal cases. As a reminder, the French crime program uh, aims to compensate for police understaffing by entrusting criminal investigations to citizen detective. Okay, so basically, so. Yeah, so case closed. So basically, what we do, so what we've done is we basically at at the time it was just suicide. She just committed suicide, but we put basically was it suicide? There was there's, there is enough evidence to say there was that it was just suicide, but there's also enough evidence to say there was somebody else there. So then they will reopen the case and investigate. Okay, I look into the guy, look into how she actually died. So we basically put a bit of like a different light on it. Okay, so probably gonna go for the easy ones, let's say. Um, what what, what, what were the time are we on now? Okay, we probably got um, enough time for maybe one more. Uh, so we can have lust, fantasism, uh, or we can have forbidden dinners. Gluttony. Well, I guess in the forbidden dinners about like cannibals. <laughs> like I'm just look, I'm just saying it right now. Maybe who knows? Right, what does it say? Project of fantasy that allows the subject to fulfill their un unconscious desires and impulses. Forbidden dinners. A great chef found dead with his head in this plate. Oh, okay. Maybe it's not about uh, that then. Um, 
They're both about one hour and 30 minutes long each. Oh, we've got enough easy one as well. And the rest of mediums. We've also got bonuses as well. How long have we got left? Hmm. Fitting into my time frame, it'd probably be this one. So we're going to go for the bonus one. Who killed Ellie River? It's 45 minutes long. So this will probably cut it. That will just probably take me two hours. Uh, and then we'll probably might do these on a different day. We've already gone over the streaming time of an hour. That's all he wanted. Um, but I'll do this one. If I have got enough time, it depends. I might be able to do one more. But we'll do this. This will take us up to the two hours. Okay, so Ellie River has been brutally murdered. Can you find the culprit? This investigation is short and easy, designed originally to introduce the game's concept. So this is before the game even came out. You can even play this with friends. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. I did not know that. What happens if I click on that? Oh, okay, so you can create your own team and join a team. Oh. That's pretty cool. Maybe I can um so create your own team as you can send it in the potato. Do they need do, do they not need the game then? Because that'd be pretty good if they don't need the game. Create your team and send an invitation link or code to people that you want to invite. The team must have at least two or more than and no more than five players. Okay. Investigations purchase. As long as one team has purchased the case, the entire team can play. The others can play from our mobile app or website. Oh, okay, this is that's pretty cool. Communication, you can chat with app of your choice, WhatsApp, Skype, Discord, Zoom, whatever. Start an investigation. Oh, so if you want to play this as like a party game, like or just as a like a get together with a couple of other streamers you could do or just family and friends you could do do that you just have to buy it once so if you bought it on steam i'm guessing you could set it all up like i'm not going to go into that today but that's actually pretty good and uh, why plays the team simply because it's better you'll be able to discuss it and okay so that's that's the pretty uh unique let's go back to investigations okay let's go back onto this that's that's pretty that's actually pretty good Okay, we're gonna play it alone now. Right, let's start it. The tragic end for Ellie River. Ellie River, a young photo model, died during the rehearsals of a video shoot for a criminal investigation website. The murder, her murderer stabbed her to death. The president of the company, Ben Mac Fox, was in the studio at the time of the incident. According to him, everything happened too quickly and he couldn't do anything except to trigger a camera. He sent us the video, which was handed over to the police. Out of respect for the victim, the editorial team did not decide to publish it. But that's not all. <clears throat> okay. Mr. Mac Fox was also, also sent us a video claimed to have been recorded between the moment when the young woman was murdered and the moment he finally decided to call the police. We present this video to let you form your own opinion about this very unfortunate character. Oh, okay. It doesn't say any. This is published on May the 13th, 2024. So that's the day. Okay, let's have a look at the YouTube video. Elle River est morte. Elle est dans le bureau d'à côté, là. Euh, je n'ai pas encore appelé la police. Euh, on était en train de répéter une vidéo pour le site pciagent.com. Un type avec un masque qui est rentré, il m'a donné un coup de couteau dans le ventre. Elle est tombée. Il a donné un coup de couteau dans le cœur. Euh, ça l'a tué, donc moi j'étais là, j'étais derrière, j'ai pas pu bouger, j'ai pas pu bouger, moi j'ai horreur du sang, j'ai vu du... J'étais tétanisé, j'ai quand même pu appuyer sur le, la caméra pour euh, son petit regard de hyène quand il est sorti. 
et j'espère que du coup, on pourra le retrouver et le mettre en le faire payer. J'ai un autre problème encore plus grave, c'est que la vidéo qu'on tournait, c'était une vidéo de training de formation pour le site pcagent.com et si on ne la rend pas demain, et ben on va perdre le projet. Et moi, j'ai déjà perdu ma maison, ma femme, mes enfants pour ce projet. Il y a hors de question que je perde ce projet. Donc, du coup, j'ai réfléchi, j'ai beaucoup réfléchi. Enfin, j'ai réfléchi un petit peu. Je n'ai plus tant que ça. Je pensais vite. Donc, euh, ce que je me suis dit, c'est que euh, j'allais faire la vidéo moi-même. Alors, elle est irremplaçable, je sais, mais je vais essayer quand même. Et du coup, euh, peut-être avec petit peu de chance, euh, bah, le, le projet survivra. Je vais me changer et on va faire la vidéo. Merci. It seems more bothered about making a video than someone who just, just died. What was the video Moi, website? Perdu ma maison, ma femme, mes enfants pour ce projet. Il y a hors de question que je perde ce projet. Donc c'était une vidéo. There we go. What was it? PCIAgent.com. Let me see if this is actually a real website. Sometimes that, like, they do this kind of thing on these kind of games. Well, oh, one minute. PCIAgent.com. Oh, we've got it. Is it? Is it? Oh, that's actually pretty clever. Okay, so guys, so that's no, so that website PCI agent it actually takes you to the website of the actual game. So that's actually pretty clever, off like kind of like like um, self promoting themselves in a way, advertising themselves. Because you're gonna type that in, you're gonna see this and go, okay, let's see if this is right. This is, let's see, you know what I mean? You type that in, it takes you to the main website where you can actually look at the game and tell you where to buy it and stuff like that. That's very, very, pretty good. But this guy is very sus. He seems to, like, but I know he's lost his, he says he's lost his family, his home and all that kind of stuff. And he needs to, like, get this project over the line. Yeah, I can understand that, but, like, someone's literally just died in front of you. Do you know what I mean? Like, you'd, you'd, you'd be kind of like, like, that'd be traumatic for anybody. He seems just too cool, if you get what I mean. He's just, like, super cool. Like, at the beginning, he kind of like, like, okay, he looks a bit depressed, you know, not super depressed, but yeah, okay, he's looking a little bit, and then, you know, he's, he's basically so calm about what happened, like, get, I mean, look how calm he is. Euh, ça l'a tué, donc moi j'étais là, j'étais derrière, j'ai pas pu bouger, j'ai pas pu bouger, moi j'ai horreur du son, j'ai vu du... J'étais tétanisé, j'ai quand même pu appuyer sur le, la caméra pour euh, son petit regard de hyène quand il est sorti. Euh, et j'espère que du coup, euh, on pourra le retrouver et euh, le mettre en... le faire payer. You know what I mean? If you just seen somebody literally stab up your co-worker, would you be that calm? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Why did Ben Fox, Ben Mac Fox record the murder instead of intervening? That's what it was. He, he was powerful as fear. Because he's a psychopath. That's why. No. It's because he was paralyzed with fear. So he says. Right, okay. Right, 
Right, let's get a few of the crimes here. He's, he's, he's number one suspect straight away. Right, I assume him. A bit dead body. Looks like a couple of footprints. Looks like a knife sticking out. Nothing new there, other than more of a close up. Some kind of design on the shoe, some kind of writing. Tomorrow, too sure about that. Right, what's she got in her hand there? Oh, is it like a truncheon? Oh yeah, because she was there. Uh, she was she was a model, wasn't she? Doing a set. They must have come. Yeah, like if you're. Think about it, like she's got a truncheon and all that, she could use that for self defense. So they must have, she must have just been like, either she knew them and you guard this down naturally, so therefore that guy there, or she just didn't see them. Because why would you use the truncheon? Even if it's a fake truncheon, they'll still wouldn't hurt. Okay, so that's. And enough. So let's have a look. Okay. I like how they did the outline. <laughs> like, who did that? <laughs> what the hell is that? That's not a proper outline. What the hell? Ah, that'll do. I, I need to get somewhere else. Well, we'll put it as evidence anyway. Put all this as evidence. Get the truncheon. Shoes. Is that? Does that look like something? I'm not too sure. More footprints. Handprints? I'm not too sure. Footprints. Blood. Camera. Oh, we can open the camera? Okay, we can open the camera, guys. Okay, here we got <laughs> enough of a gel. So this is the model. Bonjour, et bienvenue sur PCIagent.com, le site qui vous permet de mettre sous les barreaux des meurtriers et contribuer à la sécurité de tous. Je m'appelle L. Je suis votre formatrice. Je vais vous apprendre à résoudre une enquête. Étudiez les éléments qui se trouvent dans le menu ici. Déterminez les indices et ajoutez-les au dossier d'instruction qui statue. Non, 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 non. Okay. Right. How would I know that? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Am I missing something here? What's the size? What? Um, hold on a minute. Let me go back to these shoes again. There, that one. How would I know that? How how would the hell would I know that? I'm seeing. The first question is, what is the size of the footprints? What? It doesn't tell me. I'm guessing. Like, I don't. What? What? What do you mean? What is the size of the footprints? Is there is there something with a little measurement somewhere? Please say there is, because I am gonna. What? What are you going on about? Oh, just like these are measurements, aren't they? Like, ow, yeah, you know what I mean? Ow, I meant to know that. Like, that's like super blurred out. Oh, 
Right, is that a footprint? That is a footprint. Again, that's blurred out as hell. I want... I mean, hold on a minute. Oh, hold on a minute. Oh, I can inspect it. Oh, I must have missed this bit. What the hell is this? Let me double check on this. Inspect, yeah. I've done that. Right, so, so that's a clearer picture. That's in centimeters. Nothing's really marked off, so I wouldn't even know. Like it's not like mark, like it's not a circle. They're saying that like that's. As I suppose that's if that's eight, that looks like it's around about that. Probably around about like six. Hmm. I mean, I'm gonna go for 42 because I haven't got a goddamn clue. Wow, it's the right answer as well. Oh, it says there. I, where was the hell was that? I didn't see that. Did I, did I miss one? Did I? I missed the oh, was that it? There, really? Like you can't? There's no way you can see that there. Like you'd have to have binoculars and like <laughs> what? There's no way that was it. Like, and that even is like a squiggle. There's there's no way you could get that. That's a lie. That does not say, like, I can't, you know, what? I mean, I got it right, but how are you meant to guess that? What would you say Ellie's murderer is? Slim, athletic, or obese? What? How would I know what? How would I know? Hold on a minute. How would I? <laughs> Gosh, what? Hold on. Let me read that question again. Would you say that Ellie's murderer is slim, athletic, or obese? I, how would I know what the what the killer is? Because I don't even know who the killer is. Oh. I, 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 well, um, I mean, I'm gonna say athletic. I, I'm just gonna say athletic right now. I mean. You know, yeah. Okay, that's the right answer. I again, I don't know how I got that. I'm just guessing because she, she looks pretty pretty. You know, she looks pretty pretty, and um, she looks um very fit. You know what I mean? Hey, the cheers. Got the ads, but I'm here. No problem, man. Uh, thanks very much for joining. We're playing a very different game today. Um, I was given this, uh, you know, stream B, yeah, uh, the analytic uh, thing that you can use on Twitch. I was given uh, two free keys, and this is actually one of them. So this is called, um, what is this actually called again? <laughs> so a French, French story or something like that. Uh, what was it called? French crime. French crime. It's about nineteen pound on Steam, and it is multiplayer, Duchess. So you can actually, like. Uh, if you own a copy, you you can then send out an invite code, and you can have uh, I think it's up to five people on Steam um, to actually like uh, try and solve the crime. Oh, you can see me now. Oh, because the ads are just finished. All right, I get yet. I bet you did, did you not hear anything that I said then? Okay, so uh, so uh, basically this is a new game. This is given uh, by Stream B. So thank you very much for Stream B. This is called French Crime. <laughs> this is called French Crime. It's on Steam. It's £19. You can play it single player and multiplayer, so co-op. 
If you've got a copy of it, Duchess, you can basically invite people, up to five people, to um, to investigate with you. So you can have it like as a you know a family friendly a streaming night, uh, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so yeah, it is very like detailed. Like it's like kind of like kind of like this is actually today's date on this game. Uh, some of it before, so it was like quite. Uh, we've already done one, and we kind of got it right. And I want a second one. We've got so basically the idea is is like the French police haven't got enough police on the streets to investigate everything. So they're calling upon us with internet access to go across all of the information that they've got to see if they've missed anything and to see if they need to like reopen and open a case. So for instance, the first one it was ruled a suicide, but we they needed to know if it was suicide. So. We, we determined it was suicide, but there was enough evidence to say there was somebody else there, so it might not have been. You never know, you know, so we're about to reopen it. Um, and go. And then this one is um, basically it's a homicide. We've just started this one, uh, and we're going to have to decide on what to do. Uh, so, okay, so the police report. Uh, for, thanks for joining in. Thanks for joining in, everyone. Duchess, I'll give you actually a shout out. Uh, if you've not already, uh, everyone, go and give Duchess a uh, uh, follow, uh, watch your content. She's active on every platform. <laughs> Let's have it right. Uh, it's Duchess Weaves on basically no enough everything. Uh, <laughs> so, honestly, she's pushing for partnership. So, honestly, please give her a follow. Go on her lives. She really does appreciate that. I'm literally everywhere, and I appreciate you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, let me do shouty shout. There we go. So, guys, it's pinned up at the top. Please go and give her a follow. And if you're viewing or, or lurking or watching the VOD, give her a follow as well. Thanks very much, guys. Right, anyway. So, we're back. Uh, okay, so... Uh, May twenty, May twelfth, twenty twenty four. Uh, we on, we are in Lyon now, so we're not in Paris. Uh, homicide: Ellie Rivers attacked with a knife in the offices of the company Studio sixty nine, where she was shooting a promotional video. An assailant dressed in black and masked stabbed her fatally in the chest before fleeing. The cameraman Ben Max Mac Fox didn't have to, time to intervene, but he had the presence of mind to start recording his video. I bet he did, didn't he? Yeah. That is a long, detailed uh, report. Okay. Uh, let me just, let me get the gist of it. I don't fancy reading all of it, but let's see. <clears throat> uh, okay, the police. Uh, we was informed by the headquarters of a homicide was stabbing in a private recording studio. Specified that the studio was occupied at the time of the events, only for the recording of a training video. Assisted by the police officers from services. We transport to 160, 126 La Fath, Leon. Uh, we being the, at 22 hours 9. What? What? That, what? What? Okay. 22 hours 9. That's like 10. Um, 9 minutes past 10, I think. Uh, we enter into the interior of the company, Bearing Silent uh, Studio 69, where we make contact with the CEO of the company. Uh, on his identity, the latter presents us with identity document in the name of Ben Mac Fox. He's 42 years old, uh, from uh, Bulgaria, residing at 6, 16 Rue Saint Maximin. Uh, we decided, we descended to the, to the basement of the company, which is composed of several rooms separated by glass and soundproof partitions. So nobody hear, could hear you scream. <coughs> Let's have that right. Uh, spe, spe, specify. That these are free of any occupants. In the last room, located to the right and the end of the corridor, serving the previous three rooms, we discovered the body of a young woman that Mr. Mac Fox declares to be the presenter that he hired to shoot a promotional video. At our request, Mr. Mac Fox provided us with the temporary employment contract of the victim in the name of Ellie River, 32, um, born in Leon, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Tells us that this person was hired for only one day after shooting of a promotional video. He also tells us during the course of the event, course of the event, he was in the same room as the perpetrator and the victim, and was preparing to film the presenter. 
when the perpetrator arrived and attacked Ellie with her, his reflex was to start the record functioning of his camera. The recording sequence showed the attacker of the presenter. We state that at 28 minutes past 8, the second person armed with a kitchen style knife enters the camera field of view and lunges at the victim. Uh, speci uh, specify, is it specified that the assailant of a uh, yeah, specified that the assailant is an athletic build. Well, we didn't know this. We just had to guess this a minute ago. Measuring approximately 1.75 meters, 1.8 is so about six foot. I think it's around about six foot. I think dressed entirely in black and wearing about white and black skeleton masks. Uh, so he looked like the guy out of what um uh, what what's the kung fu thing, um what whatever it's called. In the room measuring approximately 25 point squared meters, we observed the presence of a white formula clear table under a one-way window, a tripod with a halogen lamp, a second tripod on, with the Nikon camera, which mounted in a green cloth covering the wall. Yeah, because green screen. Uh, the body of the victim is lying parallel to the wall, supporting the green cloth in the right hand. We observed the presence of an unfolded telescopic baton in black. We, we, we proceed with the findings of the uh, body of the victim. Ellie River is dressed in a black jacket and yellow trim on the outside sleeves and a blue and yellow badge on the chest. She's wearing black leggings and a, bl and a wide belt and a heeled shoe on the right foot. Spe uh, specified that the second shoe is located 17 centimeters from the left foot. The telescopic pattern of the Nakasama brand is unfolded in the right hand. Uh, on her chest and left off her left breast, we observe the presence of a black kitchen knife handle with three rivets, the black, the blade of which is completely embedded into her chest. Uh, Mr. Whoever <laughs> was also present upon arrival, give permission for the body to be removed. Okay, so the height of the assassin was, what was it, 170? 175 and 80? I think it was 170. Yeah, it was, it was. Yeah. Okay, we got that. Okay. So we got, oh, it's that. Oh, yeah, right. So we got Ellie River. Yeah. Let's search for some information. Uh, Elowin's just in the other room, and uh, we as um, got one of the kids off here, uh, so he's probably bugging her. <laughs> but she's only in the living room. Okay, so we got Ellie River. She's fit. She's female. She's French. She's from France. Leon singles. Well, okay, blah 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 blah. Really, that we need to know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we've got uh, a playlist Alicia Keys, Chinese uh, Grillers. Right, I'm not going to play a lot of that for copyright reasons, but yeah. So that's another thing you've got like a, a, a playlist on Spotify. It's like this is really weird, this game, but super cool in a way. Okay, investigate. David is an asshole. <laughs> what? <laughs> is that the question? Is that actually just the question? David is, is an asshole. <laughs> What's the question? <laughs> what? what? What were you going on about? Who the fuck's David? Am I missing something? I, I I swear to God, like what what what? Who's David? Like, are we missing something? I get it. I'm not reading all this again, but I don't remember anybody called David. No, Mister Mac Fox, Ben Mac Fox. Who the fuck is David? Uh, okay, we'll come to the autopsy in a minute. It's enough interest. Like, who the hell is David? David is an asshole. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put jealous. He's jealous. Is that right? Hey, of course he is. Like, don't even know who David is, but I got it right. Right, unlocked elements. David Ritual. Ritual. View. I'm guessing maybe boyfriend's. Okay, maybe. Suspect. 
How is he a sport? Right, it's just game like super weird. Like the first bit was like. Then again, this is this is um. So this this is the case that was before the game was made. And then the actual, so the, you get five missions in the game, and this was the, then you've got like two extra missions that were kind of like they were kind of like before the game was made. So I think it was like a concept idea. So maybe this hasn't got everything in like the first mission did. The first mission was like really detailed and really like involved. This one like it looks like oh we're just giving them the answer and let's get on with it. Because like how did we know who's this? Like is this the guy in black that killed her? Um, you know what I mean like. He's a butcher and he works in the slaughterhouse. Come on. <laughs> oh, what? Okay. Uh, he's athletic. So he fits the build straight away. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> uh, <coughs> okay. So he's a shy as 42. Oh, guess what? The footprints here were size 42. Right, the major is of an athletic build. He's athletic. The assassin is between 175 and 180. I'm guessing that's his height. Yeah, it's 178. Davis is a jealous asshole. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. David is an athletic build. Okay, okay, right. Right, okay. Oh, that's super funny. Right, let's search for some uh, information on this deck. Uh, okay, criminal record. Okay. Uh, oh, right, let's add all this. Okay, so we got legal proceedings for an assault resulting in injuries with incapacitation for more than eight days, assault and battery. Okay, we got his playlist. And it's all like death and war, or natural bone killer, war of the mouth, rage against the machine. Okay. And uh, we got a mobile phone. Oh, okay, we don't have to hack this one. We got a mess message from Ellie. Okay. I uh, don't know what side is what. <clears throat> so where are you? Where the hell are you? Answer. This could be Ellie. Yeah, this could be Ellie. So I'm guessing this is of... Uh, what's his name? David? Go to hell. What? Why are you mean to me? Because you're a jealous and psychopathic chick. And I don't want to see you anymore. I'm not jealous. What about the guy you beat up the other day? I, I don't like you seeing you with someone. Well then, see me less. It'll be easier for everyone. I'm in front of your place. Are you waiting? I'm not at home. I'm not coming back tonight. Where are you? Leave me alone. I told you I don't want to see you anymore. Just so you know, it won't end like this. Can we meet at noon, please? Are you seeing somebody else? I ain't for gift of you. I'm waiting downstairs at your place. This guy's like a fruit loop. Like, this guy's a serial stalker. Like, she's clearly telling him to do one. Right, we take the all that down as evidence. We got any pictures? <clears throat> of course we have. Why wouldn't we? Oh, take that, just in case we need the license plates. We'll take a picture of his ugly mug. Take that. We can't take that. Okay. That's fine. Right. Okay. What is next then? Uh, we're not going to interrogate him yet. We're going to go back. And we're going to look at him as well. Because it's a bit sus how we just didn't do nothing. But it probably is the, it probably is the, obviously the guy there. Okay, so let's search for information. Let's do our jobs properly. You can't just blame the X. You never know. Could be this guy for whatever reason. But we're going to put it down to it. It probably is the X. <coughs> okay, according to his ex-wife, Ben MacFox is a pretentious asshole. <laughs> according to his new partner, he's a creative genius. Okay. Uh, we got a couple of playlists. Uh, okay, we have got a message from Ellie. Okay, hello Ellie, I'm Beck Matt Fox. I have a startup that's developing a platform where internet users can solve criminal investigations for the government. Just to tell me about you. I checked out your Insta account. Marlene, it's amazing. So I asked Jesse for your number. We're planning to create a series of videos soon that are 
that will serve as presentations and tutorials for the website. We're looking for people who, to make these videos and you're the perfect fit for our presenter role. Young, attractive, sporty, you'll be a great detective presenting this website. Uh, it'll take one or two half days of shooting. Let me know if you are interested. Have a great day, Ben. <coughs> okay, so this is from Ellie. Hello, I'm applying briefly because I don't have much time, but why not? I'd be interesting when, where, I'm leaving for a week on Thursday. Have a great to day too. Thanks, Ellie. Hello, Ellie. Glad you're interested. Quickly, it's Art Studios, 69 Leon. It's best to discuss, to call me when you can. Great, I know that studio. I'll call you later in the afternoon. Thanks. Uh, okay, next day. Uh, actually, it's near enough about, what, a week later? Hello. So, uh, it's still good for you. I'm up for the video. Uh, hello. Yeah, I wanted to get in touch, but a week flew by. Yes, it's good for us. Call me any time, except for tonight. It's been a long week. No problem, thanks. You'll explain everything to me? Absolutely. Okay. <coughs> I'll go. Hello, I've arrived at the cafe. I'll be there in five minutes. Really excited. Show's sure going to be great. Yeah, you're going to be awesome. See you tonight. See you at the shoot. Good night. Good night to you. Blah, blah, blah. You're just watching the dishes. I ain't listening. Oh, that's cool. <coughs> Hi, Ben. Still okay for tomorrow? Hello, Ellie, of course. Shall I pick you up at 5 p.m.? Perfect. How many of those will be there? Just you and me. Winky face emoji. It's a bit creepy, isn't it? Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Hello, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, yeah. You're going to be great in a week. You'll be all over the net. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow in high spirits. Okay, there's nothing really there. There's nothing really... Like, I'm not... I don't even know if I should even... In, 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 in interrogate him, but I might as well. <coughs> and then we'll go on to the actual guy. Okay. Ben Mark is an arsehole, uh, probably because he's pathetic. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? What, what does his ex say? What does his ex say? Can't remember what she said. What, what, did, his, what, did, his, what did this what did this say? General information. Got into his ex-wife, Ben Mack is a pretentious asshole. That's all it says, okay. Uh, I, because he's arrogant. There we go. Yeah, we got that right. He's arrogant. Yeah, ben is an arrogant asshole. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Uh, thanks for the emojis, man. Okay, okay. I've seen this car. Ah, see? I knew it. What the hell? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, where's the photo? Where's the photo? Is it crime scene? No, it wasn't. Where did, where did I take the photo? Where's look at false swap it? <clears throat> we'll need to do this as well in a minute. Where where the hell was that that was it this one? It was in, wasn't it? Yeah, it was in there, wasn't it? Pictures. What one was it? Uh, AC, okay, it's got RE at the end. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so it'd be this one then? No. Must be that one then, AC. There we go. Okay. So there was two ACs, but it didn't give us the rest of it. Just dot, dot, dot. Like, come on. At least give us like the next bit of code so we're not getting it wrong. It's like 50 50, that isn't it? Uh, okay, well right, done. Yeah, we got it there. So, the great start with AC dot 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 notes and Car Carlo. Okay, we got is that a new person? Okay, let's interrogate him. Uh, Mr. Mac Fox, can you tell us how the offense unfolded? <clears throat> 
Mais c'est French, je pense, les subtitles. De, de répéter le tournage d'une vidéo. We were here in the street and after video with Ellie Bever. Le river. Tout allait bien. Euh, on a eu sa fin. We were about to start filming. On a entendu un bruit à côté. We heard a noise nearby, but nothing alarming at first. Elle m'a indiqué qu'elle était prête. Elle m'a dit qu'elle était prête. Et là, un homme est rentré. Et il a assassiné elle de deux coups. Et puis il a tué Ellie avec deux coups d'un coup. C'était très vite. Ça a été très vite quand il est venu. Ok. Donc ça est son... Autopsy. Okay, so that would go with what he's just said. Um, two stab wounds. Okay. We need to we need to get rid of some stuff. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. I don't think I need all these messages. Leave them too. Add that, and then we're going to go back to the autopsy. I'm going to add this, add that. That's the death. Okay, so we got a note as well. So she died of a uh, uh, blood loss, and then every collection of spermicide with lubricating properties on the vaginal and anal walls, and different DNA samples from the subjects. So, what did you have sex? Recently, I'm guessing that's what that means. Right, okay. <clears throat> right, so we're on to this guy now. So we've done all the things, let's interrogate him. Okay, how long have you known Ellie Viva? Depuis quatre ans. For four years. On a vécu ensemble. We lived together for two years. Ans. Et on s'est séparés depuis quelques mois. I've been for a few months. Ok. Is that it? Evidence collected. Ok. Let's see. When did you last see her? Il y a quelques semaines. A few weeks ago. En ville, euh, dans That's un restaurant. That's now at a restaurant. Ok, this is, this is, I don't even need to add this really. Let's, this, like, let's not add that. We don't really need to add that, this is nothing. Okay, all right, where do you live? À côté de Givor. Next to Givors? À une vingtaine de kilomètres de Lyon. About 20 kilometers from Lyon. Okay. Again, that's nothing. Uh, yeah, do you own a vehicle? Oui. Yes, an old Volvo. Volvo. J'adore écouter son rendement. I love listening to its pairing when I come home from work, it relaxes me. Ok. Here's a license plate. Peut-être. Maybe. Je sais pas. I don't know. Je peux aller mémoire des chiffres. I don't want to head for numbers. Ok, whatever. Right. So. Yes, it's an old Volvo. Ok. Okay, so what do we need to do? Case file. All right, so we think we've got everything. So culprit, elevator, charge.
life. Yeah, was it premeditated? I'm get. I, I reckon it was. Uh, it was Jews for jealousy. I don't know what this means. Uh, perpetrator. Oh, what was it? Perpetrator. Okay, well, let me just see what this means. What is this? Okay, yeah, so that's not here. So what? She's not an accomplice. Choice of culprits. All oh, right, so I'm arguing that oh, that's wrong then, is it? Right, I need to charge him. Right, yeah, okay, right, yeah, I've got that wrong. Um, and I want to charge him. I reckon he's an accomplice. I don't know, maybe he's not, I don't know. Maybe, I, do you know what, I'm just going to go for him. I, f I do think though that the other guy had something something uh, to do with it as well, but I'm not I'm not too sure. There's not really there's not enough evidence. There's enough evidence against them. Uh, yeah, it's got to be life seven. It's got to be life sentence, hasn't it? It's not it's not his fault. Nothing. <laughs> right, charge. Yes. Um, yeah, he's a perpetrator. Yeah. Uh, premeditated. Yes. Uh, jealousy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then we need. all this we can't take all that right um, we're not gonna need that uh, not that not that we don't need that we don't need that we don't need that Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. I think, I think, I think. Oh, I need to do that. Yes. Is that right? Yeah, I think, I think. Okay, let's see. So last time I got it right, but I didn't get it quite right. I so you could go back and edit it. Okay, let's see. View of an investigation concerning David Rutschall, uh, assassination charges uh, provided in articles, blah, 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 blah. As provided in articles, blah, 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 blah. Da, 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 da. Okay, the results of an investigation allowed you to successfully identify the culprit. However, because of the lack of evidence, establishing guilt, the guilt. Uh, so we need to go back. So, we were, so we're right. We just didn't have enough evidence to prosecute him. Yeah, see, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't have enough. We need to, we need to go back and um, 
Hey, Talkie the Bear. Welcome into the chat. Welcome into the stream. Playing French crime today, where we are the investigator and trying to find the uh, evidence we need to put some criminals away. So we need to... So, um, that. Uh, that one. Don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, that one. I don't need that. I don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. Oh, that one. There we go. Right. Okay. You only get you only get like ten things, so you have to be like really careful on what you can do. Uh, we need we need right starts us that's that. Uh, don't need that. We need the all top. We need all that. Mm, I'm not jealous. I need that. That. Uh, crime scene number five. Which 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 one was the footprint? It was number six. So we need to, number six. We need number six. Uh, where's number six? I don't see number six. Art. Ah, maybe that's what we missed. Says I don't need it, but I reckon we. I think we do need it. That was the evidence that we needed for the for to to say he was there. Yeah, I swear it was that one. We don't need that one. We don't want that. Not that one. Shut up, let's shut up. I might, I think I'm still missing one or two things. I might have to go back and uh, find, find them. No, not that. Right, so we've only got two exhibits. We need at least six then. We need a couple more. So we are definitely missing a few things. We've only... So we didn't, no, you can get 100% off the evidence yet. Can't be far off it though. Right. Right, so what does it not need? We don't need that. We don't need that. Not that. That. Right, okay. Okay, oh, there was more. Oh, I didn't realize there was more to ask him. Maybe I missed this. Okay, so what did you do at that moment? Press the camera trigger and my finger was on it. I must have missed the spit. We're about to start shooting at that moment. 
cool donc euh, ouais je t'en jamais d'ailleurs vidéo. like you do when someone's getting stabbed to death you know <laughs> uh, okay okay don't you think that's a strange reflex yeah I see this is what I'm saying maybe he was maybe he was in on it I did say this, but I didn't have enough out of it. It's a reflex I had at the moment. I even thought it might be a joke. Okay. Why would it be a joke? Okay, a joke? We're talking about murder here. Uh, a joke, are you laughing? Yes, because it wasn't a joke. It wasn't funny, it's nervous, I laugh nervously. But you think it could have been a joke when we were talking about a real murder? All of this was completely unreal. We were rehearsing, a guy comes in with a knife. It was completely unreal. Okay. After the assassin fled, what did you do? Okay, we definitely missed all this then. Post the body, checked her pulse, she was dead. Anyway, it was obvious, obvious she was dead. So I remember, I walked through the blood. I think I left two or three traces, it got a little messy. And afterwards, I was in my office making videos. Like straight away after. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's so dodgy, this guy. Okay, hold on a minute. Do you, do you have an idea of who could, who could have killed her? Did you notice anything during the events? That, yeah, I, this one, I think. Au moment des faits, non. Time of the incident? No. Par contre, quand on est arrivé sur However, le parking avec when elle, we arrived in the parking lot with Ellie, I picked her up, we were both in the car, uh, elle a repéré une voiture, plus had a great car, uh, and I noticed it made uh, her uneasy. J'ai remarqué que ça la mettait mal à l'aise. Je lui ai demandé si ça allait bien. Elle m'a dit que tout était bien. Elle a dit oui, oui, mais je connais la personne qui a personne qui a cette voiture. Et elle m'a dit effectivement que tout allait bien. Elle m'a dit que tout était bien. Je n'ai pas assisté. Je ne pensais pas assister. Je pensais pas assister. Je pensais pas assister. Je pensais pas assister. Merci pour cette vidéo, mon ami. Merci beaucoup, mec. Bienvenue à la chaîne. Tout est collecté. Ok. Ok. Il me souvient de faire un voiture de la voiture et de la licence de la voiture. Ah, ben, en fait, this could be the evidence euh, we were missing. Euh, Actually, my father had a great Volvo, which the guy did say, but he couldn't remember the ah, thingy. Well, my child's hood. La voiture avec laquelle on partait. Car we took to the beach. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blah, blah, blah. What's the license number? The summer vacations. What's the license number? <laughs> my first love's name. We called her AC. So, great Volvo AC, of course. I could only notice it. Right, so that could be the evidence that we needed. That. Right, okay. I think that should be enough to convict them. We didn't, I don't think we had enough evidence. But hold on, persons of interest. We got, we got, we got more evidence. Have we? Just, just double check. That's fine. On. Right, okay, hold on a minute. Uh, that, we need that. That one. Had the footprint. It was the footprint. We want that. Uh, so how many is that? One, two, three, four, five. So we can have five more. Autopsy.
right, so that, that, so maybe that's, what's that, one, two, three, four, <coughs> five, six, seven. Okay, okay, seven. That one, that one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. else we can we'll put that down as well okay and that okay submit right let's see if this is right let's see we go we here this is a dawn <laughs> okay let's see if we've got enough evidence now so we got it we got it right we just having enough evidence to put them away oh and there it is so we did miss a few things. So on the on the, like if you're gonna play this game, it does give you the chance to go back. So we got we got we got it again. We got it right. We just didn't have enough evidence to actually convict him of the murder. So but we have now. So the result of the investigations allows you to successfully identify the culprit. David Rutler has been now sentenced to life imprisonment. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So there you go. Now we've got hundred percent evidence, which we didn't have before. Okay, we've answered all the questions. Okay, we didn't get 180 points, but near enough. Uh, case file 700 out of 1,000. It's not bad. Uh, we've got all of the stuff now. Charge found, premeditation found, motive found, fair sentence. Uh, we're still missing a free exhibit, so whatever. Uh, we didn't get it the first time. We didn't get a perfect. Obviously not. Um, but we did get a preservation bonus because we did it like second time. Okay. So we've done the woman who cried uh, underwater. Uh, we got not a lot of points for that, but okay. Uh, we did a bit better on this one because we got more used to it. So these are the bonus plots. These are the main storylines. You've got like um, three days. So we got six, uh, and we got so we're nine stories all in all, which are not so bad. And they and uh, they start off from basically easy, which is about forty five to half an hour long, an hour and thirty some of them. Mediums two hours, and and medium and hard like between th this one's four hours long, four hours guys, like okay, I'm not doing four hours. <laughs> uh, okay, right so. Start, stay with us and I want to thank everyone for being here today. We will be raiding out. Uh, so just quickly stay with us a minute and we'll just raid out to, um, let's see who is on. Oh, this guy. I love his content. Uh, and I think he needs our support as well, LSW members at the moment. So we are going to raise Rising Phoenix TV. So please uh, stay with us for a minute. Thank you to Elowen, Duchess Weavers. Good uh, karma. Toki the Bear. Um, and I will forget a few. Number one, Quack. Uh, anybody else? Anybody else? Uh, online Game Hunter. Wonky for Lurking. Uh, Silver Kitsume. Um, and I think everyone, I f there might be more. So if, not, if I have missed it, I do apologize. I will give you all thanks and appreciation station as well. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being amazing. Coming on, supporting me. Really means a lot. And we're going to read out to a fantastic streamer, a fantastic friend, is, is Rising Phoenix TV. So, give him your love. Give him a follow. Give him your support. And I will see you tomorrow. I'll probably be in the channel for around about 10, 15 minutes.
Did that raid out? <laughs> Did that raid out? One minute. One minute. So, <laughs> why is it not raiding out? Why is it not raiding out? Start the raid. Start the raid. We're already raiding. We're already raiding. It was raiding. want to um b if you want to <laughs> yeah it said it was already made and i don't know what's happening i'll check it out it didn't it didn't go over to his channel um i am so confused yeah that's awesome now i'm watching this really i'm watching the stream you can see it Raid. Oh, okay. Right. The raid's just gone through. It was 20. My name's Phoenix. Duchess. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? Hello, everybody. My name's Phoenix. I um, am a variety streamer over here on Twitch. I do YouTube content as well. And, um, <laughs> um, welcome in everybody. Oh, hello, Lowen, good to see you. Uh, Manny, good to see you. Duchess, Rono, oh my gosh, you, look at you. You got a, you got an auto shout out there. Um, underscore the bear 412 Rono. just followed. So anyone that, anytime anyone raids, you guys get an auto shout out anytime to mix it up. <laughs> LSW chicken, Austin Ray Mayhem, yeah. <laughs> let me let me um check, make sure I didn't miss nothing now. Raid, all that raid of love. But yeah, that I got, the fact that you draw your own overlays is awesome. <laughs> I gotta go to sleep, but I want to pop in and say good night. Hope the stream's good. Thank you, Gothic. And I hope your night goes absolutely amazing. And I appreciate you hopping in for a minute. And uh, thank you guys for um, coming in. Chrono, come.